Hey guys, this is Crawl. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> I have another ship to show you. But actually, this ship has been on the workshop for at least a week, week and a half. Uh, I've only, uh, you know, delayed uh, the video making for these ships because I tend to release videos for every ship that I build. But I've simply delayed this one because I had been working on another project uh, which is a torpedo factory to build torpedoes for this ship um, so anyways now I'm gonna make the videos to explain how this ship works and what makes it special so uh, I mean other than looking really really badass <laughs> Uh, one funny thing, I really just need to say this because I think it's really funny. Uh, it's not because I care in any way, it's just because it's funny. Um, this ship right now has one subscriber on the, ro uh, on the workshop, which means that one person downloaded the blueprint for this ship. And it has seven views. The torpedo, however, has like five subscribers. So there are five times more people downloading my torpedoes than there are people downloading the ship <laughs> and I think this is um, hilarious to be honest um, anyways like I said it's not that I care it's just I think it's funny that people are downloading my torpedoes more than people are downloading the ship that is used to launch said torpedo uh, anyways um, okay, so what's special about this ship is its ability to reach top speed in, you know, a bit less than one second. Uh, and it can also do the same in reverse. So it can reach top speed forward, top speed in reverse, really, really quickly. And uh, not only can it reach top speed quickly, it can actually... Um, go faster than top speed. I'm not exactly sure uh, why it's doing that, but when I turn on the gravity generators and the artificial mass blocks that you can see on each side here, uh, the ship goes faster than 104 meters a second, which is supposed to be the maximum. And um, when I first started working on this ship, all that was, all there was at the time was a platform here in the back uh, with some reactors and uh, a few thrusters, and there were these two arms in the front with all the artificial mass blocks and uh, I think 74 uh, gravity generators, and uh, I pressed the button to turn on the mass blocks and the gravity and the ship was instantly going forward at 155 meters a second. So it was going 49 meters a second faster than top speed and it, it went from 0 to 155 instantly. There was no delay it wasn't gradually going up to that speed it was instantly going at that speed so I said hmm I think I'm onto something here so I built the ship uh, trying to avoid adding too much weight um, I tried to keep everything light which is why that uh, some of the pipes here in the back are exposed which is why the artificial mass blocks are exposed, but I actually intended for the artificial mass blocks to be exposed from the start uh, because I like it when they're uh, turned on and they change, they, they go blue. Uh, I, I really like the look, so I wanted the ship to have that look. Um, but here you can see these are interior wall blocks so because they're lighter than armor blocks so that's why I put those there uh, I tried to uh, minimize the amount of armor blocks as much as I could without 
sacrificing the look too much. I wanted the ship to look good, but I wanted it to be fast and maneuverable, and uh, I think I've achieved just that. So now the ship does not, no longer uh, achieves 155 meters a second. Uh, the maximum it can go is 120 something, and this is if its uh, its cargo containers are completely empty. Uh, right now, the reactors have 200 uranium ingots in each one, and uh, the rocket launchers in the front here they all have 20 missile containers in them. turrets in the back they all have 20 missile containers in them as well so the uranium ingots and the missile containers added more weight to the ship and now it's uh, its top speed is 117 or 115 or something like that which is still really good it's better than pretty much any other ships uh, in space engineers so I'm gonna demonstrate right now the top speed so I'm going to turn on the HUD and you guys can see the speed on the right uh, so I'm going to turn off my dampeners and uh, turn on the uh, gravity generators and you guys just watch the speed of the ship okay just watch the speed 115 in uh, pretty much one second and then if I want to go in reverse, it's going to take, you know, a few seconds for the ship to come to a stop and then uh, get to top speed in reverse, but it's still going to be much faster than any other ship you've seen before. Boom, top speed in reverse. Boom, top speed forward takes longer to switch to reverse because it doesn't have the same amount of gravity generators uh, going in reverse but it's still faster than any other ship you've seen like I could go forward towards that plot that that asteroid right there and uh, you know once I'm gonna get close to it and I'm gonna be about to crash I can just turn on the reverse gravity and uh, I'm just gonna break before I crash and I'm gonna start going reverse. <laughs> it's insane the amount of power this ship has. It's just freaking insane. Now I'm going to realign myself to go this way so I don't crash into the asteroid. I can change direction on a dime. I can pretty much do whatever I want with this ship and this is what makes it so special. Now, um, turning on all of these artificial mass blocks all at once as well as so many gravity generators all at once it's making my computer uh, I don't know my, my computer is having a hard time keeping up with all of this energy I guess uh, or everything happening at once and it's causing my frame rate to uh, to drop quite a bit so that's why I seem to be going slower when everything's turned on even though I'm going faster right now I'm at 115 I turn all of this off to allow my ship to glide and right now I'm going at 104 and I seem to be going faster but it's only because my frame rate is better so you can also use the gravity generators to help your uh, to help stop the ship so <clears throat> I'm gonna go forward top speed I'm gonna turn off the gravity and now I want to stop so I turn on my dampeners turn on the reverse generators for a few seconds turn them off turn 
them on again, turn them off, and I'm stopped. If I rely exclusively on thrusters to stop the ship, it's going to take a while. I'm going to show you right there. So I'm at, I'm at top speed. Now I'm going to turn on my dampeners. And as you can see, it's just going down gradually. But if I turn on the reverse gravity until I'm close to zero and then turn it off, then the thrusters only have a few meters a second to deal with rather than, you know, uh, having to slow me down from top speed. So, uh, I really, really like uh, this ability that the ship has. And so far, I've never seen anybody else uh, show a ship that can do that. Not on YouTube, not on the workshop, not anywhere. Uh, but, you know, I've been browsing uh, people's ships on YouTube a lot, but not so much on the workshop. So it's possible that there are others on the workshop. It's entirely possible that there are other ships that can keep up with this one, but not a lot of them. So, uh, okay, how did I get the idea to do this? Well, first, this ship right here, which is the first ship I ever built in creative mode and the first ship I ever released to the workshop, uh, it does have a gravity propulsion system, but it's a lot weaker. But this was my first time building a gravity propulsion system. I didn't know exactly where I was going with this. And uh, I did the mistake of building it after everything, after the, the ship was entirely built. That's when I decided to start working on a gravity propulsion system. So I was really limited as to what I could do. So there's only one artificial mass block here. And there are 19 uh, gravity generators inside the ship that are pushing on that one artificial mass block. And that's what's uh, propelling the ship forward. And uh, I've tested it and in 25 seconds, the gravity propulsion alone uh, helps the ship gain 11.7 meters a second, I believe. So then, um, you know, I knew a little bit better where I was going with gravity propulsion. So when I built my deep space hauler right here, I decided to add the gravity propulsion system while I was building the ship and so I had a lot more room to work with uh, I could decide exactly where to put the gravity generators and how many I would put and uh, I also added a lot more um, artificial mass blocks so I think in my deep space holder there are 53 uh, gravity generators and uh, there are I don't remember exactly how many artificial mass blocks there are, but there are a lot more. And um, I, I, I really uh, made this one better. Uh, it was gaining speed a lot faster than this ship right there. So I, you know, I had more experience now with gravity propulsion and I made this ship accelerate a lot faster despite the fact that this ship is like three times bigger than this one. So after I finished my deep space hauler, I decided, okay, I'm gonna take this gravity propulsion thing a huge leap forward. So I built a ship that was built in like two different sections, two different parts, kind of like a spider. I guess you could say there's the head and then there's the, uh, the abdomen. So, uh, so yeah, so the, the ship is built in two sections and the back is where all the reactors are, all the gyroscopes, all the thrusters are, or at least all of the main thrusters are. Uh, I've added a bit more in the front here in the end, but um, they were not part of my original idea for the design. And uh, so yeah, I built this 
thing in the back and then I built two arms in the front and this is where I put all of the artificial mass blocks because now I knew that the more artificial mass blocks that you add the more speed you're gonna get or the more acceleration you're gonna get and then after putting these artificial mass blocks I've added gravity generators uh, behind uh, I don't know if you can see them right now uh, I can see them they're like you can see there's a gravity generator an artificial mass block gravity mass block gravity mass block gravity mass block and uh, in total there are 74 gravity generators in there I just fit one I just put one everywhere that I could fit one so uh, <laughs> Like I said, in total, about 74 gravity generators pushing on an amount of artificial mass block that I uh, I don't even remember because th I did not stop there with the artificial mass. I also put some underneath that you can see here on each side, and I also put some on top right here. I also put some here next to the cockpit on each side, and this these right on each side of the cockpit are the reason why you can hear that amazing awesome sound every time I turn it on and I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate again I just want to make sure I'm not gonna crash into anything right now no, okay I'm safe so as soon as I'm gonna turn it on you guys are gonna hear that hum that comes from the artificial mass blocks and I really wanted to be able to hear that so that's why I put some next to the cockpit so I'm gonna turn it on again so you can hear it again it gives it really that spaceship sound that you hear in the movies I think it's awesome um, or a actually, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the game Elite Dangerous, but the ships, they, they have this vibrating hum. Uh, I, I, I really have no idea how to describe that sound, but it's, it's, a, it's not the same as an Elite Dangerous, but it's similar, and uh, I think it, it sounds awesome. So uh, it was important for me to be able to hear it every time I turn it on. So this is how I came up with the idea for the gravity propulsion on this one and then I, I, I simply thought well if I can use it to go forward why not use it to go you know in reverse as well so I put some gravity generators to help me uh, accelerate in reverse almost as fast as I do it uh, as I do forward so one two three four five six seven I think there would be a total of 14 gravity generators pushing me backwards and uh, like I said about 74 pushing me forward so that's why I don't gain speed as fast in reverse but it's still faster than almost any other ship that you'll find on the workshop so this is the ship's coolest ability uh, this is what makes it stand out and uh, a ship that can go this fast there's no way that anyone in the battle will be able to keep up with you or if they launch torpedoes at you there you go torpedoes are gonna miss there's no way that he can aim at you and that you're not gonna be able to dodge going this fast I mean it's nobody's gonna hit you with torpedoes this way and uh, which is why I only added three turrets in the back of the ship that way if anyone has the ability to keep up with this ship then he's gonna be behind you trying to chase you down and shoot you down but he's gonna be receiving fire from three missile turrets in the back of your ship so um, okay Another thing I can say, the way that I imagine this ship going into battle is imagine a fleet versus fleet battle. Okay, there's several ship, ships on both sides. 
and um, you 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 come into battle as reinforcement or whatever. Okay, your fleet is in trouble, uh, and the enemy fleet has a very very large cruiser or large battleship or large Titan even, and uh, that Titan is definitely um, you know the most dangerous ship in the enemy fleet. So your goal is to take down the biggest ship in the enemy fleet that you can find. The biggest and slowest ship. So you stay on the outskirts of the battle, just with, uh, with your gravity like this, you're going really fast and you're staying on the outskirts of the fight as much as you can. And when you find it, uh, the best angle that you can, and uh, you can see your target, obviously you're gonna stay out of range of its turrets and stuff. And if you're being chased, then you're gonna have to deal with anyone chasing you first. But then, you know, okay, so it becomes safe to stop or slow down and start aiming at your target. So let's say my target is that deep space exploration ship right there. It's not very big, but still, it's... I'm just gonna... Wait until I'm, I'm stopped. So, like I said, okay, I've dealt with the small ships chasing me, using the turrets in my back. Um, I, I have a good position that I can... Uh, shoot from and I'm facing my target right now it's safe for me to stop and aim and shoot so I'm gonna aim alright so let's say I have a good aim I'm pretty sure uh, that I'm gonna hit so explain what I'm doing later but it's important that you move using your thrusters after you've used the gravity propulsion I'll explain why uh, in a bit right now I'm pretty much just setting up the, uh, the view okay, so where is okay, it's down there so I'm gonna position the spectator cam over here Hopefully, I'm going to hit. Alright. Back to the ship. Alright, so it's safe for me to fire. I'm targeted on, my, on the largest ship I can find. Obviously, there's a lot of action going on around, but you're, you're not going to be here for long, okay? You're not going to be placing a spectator cam and stuff like that. You're just going to be aiming and firing your torpedoes, so I'm going to do that right now. Launching these two torpedoes, which are propelled by thrusters, as you can see, and then launching these. And then... As soon as you launch them, you would be getting the fuck out of there, okay? Before another ship comes and uh, tries to deal with you. So these torpedoes, they don't have explosives in them. These two, they do. But of course, I had to hit a part of the ship that did not really matter. And uh, also, I need to... Uh, to say that this ship right here is built out of entirely, with the exception of the ramp blocks, obviously, uh, all of the armor blocks are heavy armor blocks, so it's a lot harder to penetrate. If it, if it had been made out of light armor blocks, then uh, my torpedoes would have probably gone right through. Um, actually, I'm not really happy with the amount of damage I did. Usually I was aiming at it from the top here, and there were huge holes all over the place. But still, you can see it suffered quite a bit of damage. Anyways, um, like I said, this, 
the Arapaima is meant to be targeting large ships, the largest ship you can find. Not uh, not this. This is not a large... Well, it's, it is a large ship, it's just... You know, it's slightly bigger than the red ship, so it's not very big. And sadly, the explosive torpedoes hit the side of that thing right here, which did not really cause any major damage. I was hoping it would hit like right here in the middle of the thrusters and take all of the thrusters out at once. Or if you aim here from the top, then you would take out a lot of turrets here, which would... Uh, cripple the ship's offense by a lot but as you can see there's a turret missing here so that's always good and just for fun now we're going to approach the ship and well actually I need to do something first so I want uh, I want my ship to consider the uh, the white ship as an enemy, so I had to transfer everything to me. So I'm going to approach the ship right now, just to show you that you know it, the the three turrets in the back they would be enough to uh, discourage anyone from chasing you, especially since they pretty much don't stand a chance. They can't catch up to you so it would be stupid for them to chase you for too long I guess they're targeting floating objects probably debris from the large uh, from the white ship or debris from the torpedoes Again, um, the white ship is made out of heavy armor blocks, so these tiny little missile turrets, they don't do that much damage to it, but I can assure you that if a ship is able to keep up with you, then it's a fragile ship. There's no way to make such a fast ship out of heavy armor blocks. It's too heavy. And uh, there's no way for them to be that fast and that maneuverable. So if a ship is able to keep up with the Harapaima, then it is a fragile ship. And these three turrets will be enough to deal with it. Or at least to discourage him from chasing you. So. Just, uh. Just to get back to the situation, the fleet versus fleet battle, like I said, you come in, you assess the situation, you look around a little bit, you stay on the outskirts of the battle. If anyone notices you and comes to try and attack you, just keep him, keep him on your tail and let your turrets do the work. And then when he leaves you alone or when he's destroyed, then you get into position, target the biggest ship you can find or the most dangerous ship you can find in the enemy fleet, release your torpedoes, get the hell out of there. Uh, that's pretty much your role and uh, that's pretty much what this ship was designed to do. Or I guess it could also be used as a scout because of its incredible speed and incredible maneuverability and incredible lightness. <laughs> uh, so it could be used as a scout but if you're gonna be using it uh, I mean I would recommend using a smaller ship as a scout because this ship is still kinda large 
Obviously this could be used as a pirate ship as well, but I think it's too, um, it costs too much, uh, and there's too much weak spots on the ship to be an efficient pirate ship, so the best thing would be to just use it, at, like I said, you're, uh, you're kind of an, uh, aerial strike kind of thing. You come in, release your torpedoes, do as much damage as you can to the biggest ship in the enemy fleet, and then you get out of there. So, uh, like I said earlier, uh, or at the beginning of the video, uh, the reason why I took so long to make a video about this ship is because I was working on a different project. Now, the different project is a factory that produces torpedo for this ship. Now the factory can only produce one type of torpedo. Okay, so let's hop out of this ship now for a little bit. types of torpedoes in this ship. There's the warhead or boom pedo right here. Am I completely stopped right now? Dampeners off. Dampeners on. Alright. No so there's this torpedo and there. <laughs> You fucking bastard! <laughs> I just placed a torpedo right there in the ship's like, Hey, get this the f get this thing out of my face! And he just blows it up. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so there's this type of torpedo, and then there's... Um, Graphpedos, which are... I'm blind right now. Where the hell are they? Okay, decoy graph video. There's this one. Boom. <laughs> okay. waiting for the noise to stop so um, this type of torpedo cannot be produced by the factory that I made only this type of torpedo <laughs> can be produced by the factory but that's fine because you can load eight of these on your Harapaima and it will work just as well uh, you're gonna have more explosive results actually so um, once you paste this into your world if it's a survival world and you need to reload the ship manually after using the torpedoes then it's fine just load eight of um, eight of these and it's gonna work just as well only if you're gonna use a factory to produce them you're gonna need this blueprint here it's the MP variant MP obviously stands for massive potato variant <laughs> I'm kidding it's mass production variant it's the one that goes with the factory it's the exact same torpedo the only difference is this one has a shaft underneath it so that it can be welded using uh, automatic welders so that is it for now I'm gonna end the video here if I think of other stuff that I'd like to discuss about the ship then I'll make another video if not then uh, I'm pretty sure you guys should 
know enough about the ship right now to know if you want to download it or not. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in a future video.